Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to survive your first night in Minecraft. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, launch a new world. So basically the way you do it is click on single player, click here to create new world, name the world whatever you want, uh, make sure game mode survival, and you know, make sure difficulty is not peaceful, it can be either easy or normal, okay? And then create new world. Okay, so once you spawn in a new world, make sure you um, find trees. Like, like, um, like here, um, we have a large abundance of trees, especially we're in the forest. So make sure you um, get some logs to craft some wood, because that's what we will need. Alright, so you don't need to get that many logs. You can just get a tree worth of logs. So once you get um, a few logs, um, just craft some oak planks. Then after you craft some oak planks, just craft a crafting table. Like I did here, four oak planks makes a crafting table. <clears throat> and then what you'll need to do is make some sticks for tools, make a wooden pickaxe, and also make a wooden sword to fight animals. One major mistake most people make um, when trying to survive the first night in Minecraft is that they wandered for too long. You only have 10 minutes between the time when you spawn in the world and the time when sun sets. And when night turns, um, you know, mo monsters will start spawning and you won't really have much of a chance to build a house. So make sure you um, are concentrated. Um, on getting animals and stuff, uh, trying to get materials to build a house. And speaking of materials, um, we have a wooden axe to get even more wood. So the three things you will need, three tools you will need at the start would be a wooden pickaxe, a wooden sword, and a wooden axe. Get as much wood as you um, get as much wood as you can. We're gonna build this house. Um, out of let's see yeah wooden stone make sure you just um get as much wood as I, as you can and you will be set Once you get a sizable amount of um, oak logs, make sure you craft all of them to get some oak planks. I don't know, you may want to go a little more and get even more logs, um, depending on how big your house is. And also, um, you also need a door to, to your house, so that will also require um, oak planks. Yeah, I just want to get at least two stacks of oak planks just to be safe. There we go. That should be good. And now, let's see, yep. So the sun is about less than halfway. We're making good progress. So the other thing you'll need to do um, when trying to survive your first night is to um, get animals, such as sheep, uh, cows, maybe even pigs if there are any, so that you won't starve to death. Because... Um, if you get attacked by mobs, um, and your hunger bars are full, it will regenerate. However, if it's not full, or if it's not full, it won't regenerate. And if it's zero, then you will lose hearts. And usually, when after you um, chop a tree to its entirety, you will get um, things like saplings, uh, sticks, maybe even an apple. So apples are nutritious, so you can eat that too. However, I don't think all trees would drop them. So make sure you also uh, get stones so you can make, um, so you can upgrade your gear because your wooden sword, your wooden tools will not last very long. And if you are coming across a pond for the first time, make sure you can swim by hitting the control key and W. Um, so yeah, so you can get across the lake quicker. And let's 
the yep we're gonna need stone so i believe <laughs> since i'm on a clarity texture pack the stone looks different but you know so yeah, make sure you mine some stone and also make sure you mine some coal so you can um smell you make sure you can cook your food because um upon killing your animals your food will only be raw and it won't heal much of your hunger bar so if you want to have the the best food make sure you smelt it so you can uh, regenerate the most hunger bars per you know meal also get some coal as well um so you can also make torches to prevent mobs spawning in your house so yeah um mobs usually monsters like zombies skeletons spiders creepers enderman etc usually spawn in the dark when night turns or in a dark area so make sure you light up your house with torches or glowstone or any light source primarily torches since you know it's the most obtainable source of light for now so make sure so in order to make some torches uh you will need coal and sticks so for every coal and stick you craft as you see here oh hold on you will craft four torches so if you want to craft eight you're going to um need two sticks and two coal as you see i have eight torches that should be enough um to light up my entire house it won't be that big and pick a good area to build your house um let's see I mean, you don't want to uh, go wandering out, go wandering around too much. So, I don't know. Maybe we should build our house here. This looks like a nice area. And make sure you don't build it too big, depending on how much wood you have. I only have two stacks of wooden planks, so I don't know. I might make it four blocks wide on the inside, to six blocks wide on the outside. So let's see: one, two, three, four. Hopefully, this will be enough. Otherwise, we need to get more wood. So then the next thing you're going to need to do is, of course, um, make a bed uh, if you want to skip the night. But we don't want to skip the night here. The reason why is because I want to show you how to fight mobs. So then, yep, we're just going to craft a bed. I think we may need, oop, I forgot the crafting recipe. Sorry, guys. I don't know what am I doing. What the heck? Oh, there we go. There we go, that's how we craft the bed, okay. And then the next thing you're going to need to do is craft the furnace using 8 stone. Craft the furnace here so you can so um, you can cook your food. Make sure you put um, whatever raw food you want, such as raw beef, which is from cows. And then put, it in, put coal in the furnace so it starts to smelt. So, um, yeah, definitely be a lot more nutritious. And also, um, I don't think I want to use my stone sword to fight mobs, but... Oh, look, we have some iron. Um, we'll just upgrade that in a different video, or you can do it however you want, so. Yeah. I can already hear a zombie. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a cave, so we want to... Uh, yeah, there's a zombie there. He doesn't recognize us, but it's only a matter of time until mobs start spawning all over the place. Since we're on normal. And let's see, yep. Hold on, let's see. Options. Uh, I'm gonna need, yeah, you're gonna need to craft a stone sword. And if you have enough leather, you can craft um, a full set of leather armor. Um, but I don't have enough leather to craft a full set. I'm just gonna have to go naked. <laughs> but if you find enough cows and obtain enough leather, you can um, craft a um, full set of leather armor. Yeah, it's only a matter of time till mobs start spawning. I don't know whether we should. Yeah, we need to. Um, oh yeah, when you're, whenever you're gonna fight mobs, don't forget to grab some cooked food that you put in the furnace. I think we're all set for now. Um, maybe it would be a good idea because um, in order to craft a, a leather chest plate or a leather tunic that goes over your body, you will need eight leather. Eight leather. So I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to murder your entire family. Oh, no, no, I didn't get any. I didn't, I didn't get any um, leather 
No. From the cow. No. Just a matter of luck. Come on, cow. Seems to be running away. He doesn't want to die. Oh, come on. It's, it's like... Oh, there we go. Oh, look, we got two leather. That's great. We have one more leather, or two more leather. Provide yourself with protection, so if, make sure you craft a leather tunic, if you can. Usually you can. So, it's not much, but it's better than nothing in order to fight mobs in the night. Now that's what we're going to be doing. So, over there are zombies. They look a different in this texture pack. In the ball texture pack, they, they look different, and these are spiders. Jumpy little fellas. Huge fellas, huge spiders. And there's the skeleton trying to shoot at you. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's trying to shoot arrows at you, so if you try to attack him, try to maneuver your way. Oop. And also... Yeah, try to move, maneuver your way around skeleton. And also, in order to hit, in order to do the most damage per hit, um, there's something called attack cooldown. So the moment you hit your, the moment you swing your sword towards an entity or a mob, it will. Uh oh. So yeah, you want to pay attention to your hearts as well. I'm about to die. There we go. Heal real quick. And yeah, never mind that. Um. Oh gosh. Let's try to kill him. Make sure so don't so don't spam click your sword. Make sure you um wait until the bar is fully filled. Bar um finishes itself, and then you can swing again so you can do the most damage and be the most efficient. And make sure you also get some uh, food as well. And there's a baby zombie. Yeah, you also want to be careful towards baby zombies because they are very small and their hitboxes are also very small, so you won't so you won't have much space to hit them. I mean, I remember um, many years ago when I started YouTubing, I died from a baby zombie. And actually, I actually did in a YouTube video. You can check it out. But yeah, like I said, you have 10 minutes between... Daytime only lasts 10 minutes from when you spawn and when the sun sets. And nighttime lasts around 7 minutes. So... And also, there's one more thing. Critical hits. Critical hits um, do even more damage than regular hits. Hold on. And also, this is why you want to shelter. Because, um, yeah. So this is why, guys, you want a shelter. Because if you are about to die from a mob, and if you have access to shelter, make sure you go in it right away. But like I said before, um, if you do critical hits, that will do even more damage. And the way you know there, there will be critical hits is if there are particles um, being, there's, there's like white particles being emitted from the mobs. So let me see, you jump and do a hit, yeah, and there's also that sound that lets you know it's a critical hit. And also, Endermen are another thing. Um, I don't recommend fighting Endermen. Um, they're not 100% hostile, which means they won't go after you right away, unless you look at them directly. So basically, Endermen don't like when you look at them directly. So, and also they have 40 hearts, which means you have to gonna hit them a lot in order to kill them. So, you want to be careful towards around Enderman, and also creepers as well. Um, their explosions are very deadly, especially when you're like right next to them. So, I want to check real quick. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of mobs. And make sure you don't have, make sure you try to have the mob hit you as little as possible by trying to reach them. Um, depending on the size of the mob is how large their hitbox will be. Um, if their hitbox is small, which means, that means they'll be harder to hit them. If their hitbox is larger, which means, um, you'll be able to hit them easier. And the way you aim is if that, is that, um, crosshair at the center. If you aim at a mob... Like right here, you'll be able to hit them. But if you just aimlessly hit, you won't be able you won't be able to hit the mob efficiently. Make sure your crosshairs um face towards the mob, like touching the mob, kind of. And also, um, zombies will drop something called rotten flesh. 
Um, if you don't have anything else to eat, rotten flesh is an option. But they're not the best option. If you have um, meat or beef or any other nutritious food, rotten flesh will be pretty much useless. You can pretty much trade them with villagers. So, and speaking of villagers, villages would usually spawn um, at random places in the overworld, and they'll contain things like um, food sources such as wheat, which you can make bread from. So I'm gonna need to go back to the house to make some more, um, make some more uh, food, smelt some more food because all my food is raw. And also the, ne the next thing you need to worry about is uh, the the tool durability, your sword durability. As you see in my stone sword, that bar is kind of low. Whoa, my lag. All right, I'm just gonna get my stuff real quick. Um, sorry guys, that wasn't me. That was my computer for some reason. It just lagged like crazy. Let's just get my stuff back and there, there we go. Let's use my wooden sword for now. So that we won't break our stone sword because that bar is really low, which means it's gonna break soon. So make sure I just go all out on those mobs. As you see right now, the moon is setting and the sun is rising. So, yeah, the wooden sword will not last long either. You're better off using the stone sword, or even an iron sword if you manage to obtain iron. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna die again, am I? I better run. <laughs> better run back to my shelter. Since I'm very low on health, so yeah. This is why a shelter is so important. Especially surviving for your first night. So you can also skip the night if you want, just by sleeping in the bed. And yeah, so that is how you survive your first night in Minecraft. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. That would help a lot. And I'll see you all later. Bye.